The Earth is home to a wealth of exceptional biodiversity. Its preservation is the subject of scientific, political, economic, and cultural concern because we exploit its resources for our health and food, among other things. The Biological Diversity Convention, adopted in 1992 during the Earth Summit in Rio, addresses all these issues. Its third objective, alongside conservation and sustainable use of biodiversity, concerns access to genetic resources and the fair and equitable sharing of benefits arising from their utilization, ABS. ABS rules aim to ensure a balanced and transparent relationship between providers and users of biodiversity. They concern not only genetic resources, but also the traditional knowledge associated with them. They recognize the contribution of local populations to the management and knowledge of biodiversity. The Nagoya Protocol, adopted in 2010 and entering into force in October 2014, specifies the implementation of ABS by states. Each state has sovereign rights over its genetic resources, whether from its fauna, flora, or microorganisms. Let us consider an example. Laura and her team need to collect a plant from another country for research on the impact of climate change on biodiversity in tropical forests. Laura and her team must respect two main procedures, pick, prior informed consent, and mat, mutually agreed terms. PIC is the consent of the provider country for access to resources or of the local communities for access to the associated traditional knowledge. MAT is a contract that defines the conditions of use of materials or knowledge and the fair and equitable sharing of the benefits arising from their use. This sharing can be monetary or non-monetary. For academic research, sharing often takes the form of scientific collaborations capacity building, or access to databases in connection with the study and conservation of biodiversity. Securing PIC and MAT allows the team to satisfy the requirement known as due diligence in the country where the genetic resources or associated traditional knowledge are used. Countries that are parties to the Nagoya Protocol must ensure that such use is in compliance with the ABS laws of the country of origin. The European Union has its own control mechanism. In France, a declaration is made on the platform of the Ministry for Research. But let's face it, while ABS procedures are simple in principle, following them sometimes proves difficult. ABS legislation differs between countries. Special cases exist, such as human genetic resources or crops for food and agriculture. You should always find out more before you start your research. The ABS Clearinghouse lists the ABS measures adopted by each state. For France, the websites of the Ministries for Research and for the Environment are very informative. Regional delegations and IRD representatives abroad and in overseas territories, with their close connections to the field and your partners, will also be able to help you. The IRD Intranet provides information on the procedures to follow, and the IRD Nagoya Committee can advise you in analyzing your project with regard to ABS and in carrying out your procedures. Respecting the letter and spirit of the Nagoya Protocol means, above all, developing more equitable research practices and partnerships that recognize the rights and duties of all the stakeholders. It means contributing to making knowledge and biodiversity common goods.